Hello everyone, today's message is gonna be really, really eye-opening for a lot of you. It's gonna really just land home for a lot of you. And it's because I wanna to talk to you all about uh, what's actually coming for you in the future, or what you're about to step into. So many of you have probably felt like the past couple of uh, months or so, or the entire past 2022, that there is something bigger for you than where you are at right now. There's something more for you, and it's just out of reach, and you felt like there is something probably in the realm of the spirit, or there's something that's just holding it up. Or some of you may not even have felt that way. You have no idea, and this is gonna be completely new news to you. But for many of you, there is something bigger for you in the realm of the spirit that you haven't stepped into yet, but it's going to be made manifest in your life very soon. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because many of you can sense it already. You can sense it already. I did a message in 2021, towards the end of 2021, about what the year of 2022 was going to be about. I shared how it's a year of exponential growth. And I'm going to share that. I'm going to link that message below so you can go back and listen to it and see and hear how I spoke that to that the year of 2022 is going to be a year of exponential growth. And many of you, here we are at the end of 2022, and you can attest below in the comments that many of you have purchased a new home, you've got married, you've had, you've had children, maybe you found out you were expecting. There's just been a lot of growth spurts that have happened for you over the course of this entire year, over the course of the entire 12 months. And I'm here to share with you that the year of 2022, it was a year of exponential growth because God is positioning you for what's to come in 2023. 2023 is a year of completion, meaning it's a year that everything will come full circle for you, meaning that when you step into 2023, it may not be right away. It may not be the first month, right? It may not even hit you until December of 2023, but you're gonna begin to see how everything has come full circle, how this year, not this year, 2023, is a full circle moment for you where you see, wait a second, everything that you went through, all of the growth spurts that you've had in 2022 and 2000 and, uh 21 in the years before that, it's all come full circle. You needed all of those experiences to place you where you are right so now. You'll have a full circle moment. And I think it's really interesting. This is how we know that the Lord is always speaking to us. The year 2023 is another variation of the number seven. If we do three plus two plus two, it's the number seven. And we understand that God rested on the seventh day because his work was complete. It was a full circle moment for him. So 2023 is going to be a full circle moment for many of you. I talked about this in a previous message, how it's going to be multiple compounded on top of each other, Kairos moments. And I'm gonna to read to you the definition of what Kairos means. It means again, a time when conditions are right for the accomplishment of a crucial action. It means that the reason why I'm going to tell you all, the reason why some of the things that you have been asking God for did not happen in 2022 is because the conditions were not right. The time was not right. There was still growth that needed to be had, hence the year of exponential growth. You needed growth spurts. You needed maturity. You needed experiences. The time was not right. But you will have a full circle moment in 2023. So for those of you who have been sensing in your spirit, like you know there's something more for you, but you just feel like it's just out of reach. Some of you can see it. Some of you know, hey, this is what God has for me. Some of you have received a prophetic word that God has something for you. Some of you have had someone directly tell you, hey, this is for you. But for some odd reason, you aren't able to access it yet. You weren't able to step into it yet. It's just not yours yet. And it's okay. The word of God says you will reap if you faint not. This means that you have to continue to stand and contend for what it is that you know is yours because it's about to come full circle. You have to believe that. You have to know that. It is about to come full circle. This is going to be a really quick message, really a message of confirmation for many of you. For some of you, it may not even be confirmation because you, you weren't even aware. You weren't even aware. But right now as I'm speaking, this Holy Spirit that is speaking through me has just made a check in your spirit and you know that this word is for you. If you know this is for you, if you have, you know, 2022 has been a year of exponential growth for you, there is something coming for you in 2023. Continue to stand for it. Continue to stand for it because there are things that have been held up for you. There are. And as you continue to stand, the word of God says that you will reap if you faint not. There, all the things that you've done have not been done in vain. Have not been. There's some of you, I know right now. <laughs> Um, the Lord really just kind of gives me a little downloads, but there are some of you 
who have just like completely just, um, I want to say settled. There are some of you who have just settled for where you are in life because you think that there's nothing else. Like you feel like maybe there was something else out there for you, but um, discouragement. You've just been really discouraged. And so you've kind of thrown in everything. But stand and you will reap if you think not. That's just, it's just what the word of God says. And if you follow it to the T, you will always reap a harvest. You will always reap a harvest. So I want to give this word of encouragement to many of you that there is something bigger for you. And if you have gone through periods of just like growth spurt after growth spurt and experiences that are just out of this world in 2022, keep standing because it's going to come full circle. It's going to come full circle. And I want you to, if you want to do this, I want you to save this video and come back next year and testify because i'm telling you you're gonna have many full circle kairos moments so i'll leave you all with that today really quick message i love you all as always there's many resources for you all below if you have any questions just put it in the comments or go to the website and send me an email there's a promise land mentorship for those of you who have not planted your seed in fertile ground maybe there's something that you've been praying to god for and you're believing in him for um for the year 2023 then plant a seed in the ground and this is i'm gonna i want to say this because this is for somebody that i know will probably have this question when you're planting seed in fertile ground you're not buying a blessing i want to just put that out there you're not buying a blessing what you're doing is you're putting seed in the ground so that god has something to multiply it's just a biblical principle it's how it works if you it works in the natural and it works in the spiritual right if you want to cultivate really great relationships with other people you're going to plant seeds into your relationships right if you want to have a healthy marriage you're going to plant seeds to continue to cultivate that marriage right if you want to have an apple tree you're going to plant apple uh, apple seeds it's just the way that things work and it's also a biblical principle so i'll leave you all with that today Make sure that you share this message because I know that there's so many people who need to hear this, especially those, like I said, who have been in a period of just being discouraged and they're thinking to themselves that there's just where they're at is all they're ever going to be. And that's not true. That's a lie from the pit of hell. And it's so important that you begin to capture those thoughts as soon as they come up and immediately cast them down, immediately submit them under what the word of God says about you, because it's not true. You're always, as long as you're in the, your journey with God, as long as you're in the will of God, the goal is for you to always go from glory to glory. That's God's will for you. That's his desire for, for you from glory to glory. Do not get discouraged and settle for where you're at and think that where you're at is where you're always going to be because that is exactly where Satan wants you, exactly where he wants you because you're, then you're not, you're not displaying the glory of God. Then God can't display his glory through you. God can't use you as a vessel because you've settled for where you are at. So I love you all. Let me know if this confirmed a lot of things for you and I will talk with you in the next message.